shit. What the fuck did I just watch? Welcome to another episode of Half a Clue Movie Review, where we cover the Oscar nomination for the year 2020, the 94th Academy Award nomination. I, I, I lost my mind. I was like at 5 a.m. or so, and I was reading it. I was so, <laughs> I just, you know, I think uh, even though technically last Tuesday was uh, the new lunar year for the tiger, I think it should be, it should have been for the dog because <laughs> this is definitely the year of the dog. Yeah. All of these nominations all across the board, they're looking pretty good. Okay. So, okay. So, oh, it, it's <laughs> wild. It's wild. It's, whoo, my gosh. Okay. So the nominations came out today and we are reacting to them. A lot of snubs, a lot of surprises, a lot of records broken. We're uh, what's it called? And uh, minds destroyed, uh, boggled. Yeah. yeah, listen to me react. Huh? 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 What? Oh. <laughs> uh, and then when we when it got to the director, I was like, "What? Oh my god! What's happening? Oh my gosh!" <laughs> All right. So okay, first off, let's just go with the films with multiple nominations. Congratulations to Power of the Dog, twelve nominations. What's it called? Silent clap. You could just mental clap yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Um, let's, I'm very glad. I'm very glad that it was. It might have. I it definitely overperformed. Um, holy crap! If it if it if it wins eleven Academy Awards, that's like gonna be insane. I don't think it will. But no, no, oh my gosh. No, of course it's not gonna win eleven. It's gonna win twelve. Yeah, <laughs> gonna win 12. take that, Return of the King. I yeah. know. Mm. Um, yeah, Howard the dog. Uh, and I, and I do love that film. It's one of my favorites. Um, and and congratulations to Dune for ten nominations. It should have been eleven. It should have been eleven. <laughs> it should have been eleven, and we'll get to what that left nomination there's should one, be. It, yeah. it should have been two, uh, two okay. nominations. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> and there's and seven nominations for Belfast and West Side Story. Uh, Belfast. To be honest, I thought Belfast was gonna get more, but I'm kind of glad it didn't. Um, and I like that film. I appreciate it more than I enjoy it. Uh, West Side Story, about where I expected. And King Richard six, four for Don't Look Up, Nightmare Alley, Ooh. which I'm very surprised for Nightmare Alley. And we'll get into some of the, but the big one, Drive My Car, four nominations. Hey. And it, it killed it. We It killed it. And there's other ones, but we'll, we were not going to name all of it. Great job. Yeah. Let's yeah. just give a big hand for Drive My Car real quick. Yeah. That's yeah. impressive right yeah, there. Yeah. Mental clap. Mental clap. We got a mental, oh, mentally clap. Okay. Can you imagine that mental clap? Yeah. His hands hitting other hands in your mental mind. It's a mental clap. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, good. Ugh. Okay. It's kind of like that scene in, um, I think it's like Get Him to the Greek or something with Jonah Hill and yeah, uh, what's it called? Where they're just like, I'm mind fucking you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Did you feel me? Yeah. You feel me right now? <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, P. Diddy, right? Yeah, sure. Yeah, now man. is he just Diddy or I forgot? No, he I think he's name. back to Puff Daddy. He's back to Puff Daddy? I think so, actually. <laughs> oh, I'm not okay. entirely sure. Remember when Snoop Dogg, Dog, Snoop Lion, now back to Snoop Dogg? Or yeah. Just, yeah. It's whatever. <laughs> yeah, we'll get into, we'll have a video where we talk about the logistics of uh, what, of, of rappers' names. Anyway, we're going to go through the It's all list. about tax evasion. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, Miles, I'm, I'm Miles, joking. you are now banned. You are now banned <laughs> <for> speaking. <laughs> okay, Ma- Miles, shh, you have a five-minute timer. Five-minute timeout. <laughs> Voice prison. Okay. I don't anyway, actually so think so that far, they Okay, so the first category, so let's okay. go over. Uh, we couldn't do a line nominee because nobody wants to be up at 5 a.m. with me in the morning. You know what I mean? They, they like to sleep, unfortunately. Um, yeah. What's it called? Okay, so best international feature. If you wanted my reaction, this is how it went. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's good. Wow, wow. What the fuck? Huh? Wait, wait, wait. What's missing? What's missing? Oh, that's how it was. Um, okay, so the, nomination, nom- the nominees are Drive My Car, Flea, The Hand of God, Lunana Ayak in the Ayak in the classroom. <laughs> Yak. And the worst person in the world. So we got four out of five on this. Oh, by the way, uh, what's called? Yeah, we've what's I think we'll post it up on our Instagram, our final nominations. Like Ron and I, we reconvened and combined our nominations to rediscuss after looking at gills and extra research and other uh what's called and other um extra videos and also cold derby again. And then we kind of finalize the list. Yeah. We'll upload it on Instagram somewhere in our story or our official post. Yeah, yeah. There was yeah. some new information that came out by the time we recorded the video and stuff. So we're Kind of constantly updating stuff. Yeah, but we, but don't worry. We, these nominations are before the nominations that we got. Because yeah. if, if if I were to make my nominations after this, everything would be five for five. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh. We are the most accurate Oscar we're better than predictions George, ever. We're better than the entire Gold Derby <laughs> staff. You know what I mean? 
It's crazy. Some of them like who have like ninety percentile or eighty percentile like yeah. got down to like sixty, fifty this year. It's crazy. Damn. Wow. It's the wildest Academy Awards. But yeah, the big one, the big surprise is Lunana, a yak in the classroom. Like who the fuck are the yak in the classroom? Who the fuck heard of this film? Who the fuck was re- nowhere, nowhere was this film? <laughs> what happened? It should have. This should have been a hero by Ashkar Far- uh, Farhadi, who got previously nominated and won for uh, his films like, um, uh, for his films like. A pass, uh, a separation, salesman. I don't know what happened. And this film was excellent. Well, I mean, you know what that film doesn't have, right? It doesn't have a yak. Exactly. Yeah. The, and don't worry. We'll cover this a hero. We'll, we might have like a You Got Snub, Bitch, uh, a hero <laughs> by Oscar <laughs> Friday series. Um, it is an excellent film. It got nominated for almost every other uh, precursor except for Oscars. It's great because he's won, so it's 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 ridiculous. It's it is it's my second favorite of this category too. Maybe no third. Does. It depends on what's person in the world. All right, but let's move on to best. I gotta keep cin- bitching. On. Don't okay, let me, don't <laughs> stop my bitching. We've got fifty thousand different on nominations to go it's through. Weird. Some oh of them I have God. less bitches. Okay, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, all right. So best cinematography. Uh, it's Dune, uh-huh. Gar Fazer, Nightmare Alley by um, Dan. Lawson, oh. Power of the Dog by Ari Wagner, who did fantastic. Uh, Tragic Macbeth, Bruno uh, Dubonel, who was one of my favorites. And West Side Story by Janos Kaminsky. Thank God he got in there. I was worried because he wasn't nominated for ASC. But one thing that's weird that we didn't predict was Nightmare Alley. Yeah. And what got kicked off was Belfast. Honestly, I was I actually thought West Side Story was getting kicked out. Shocking. And, and if Nightmare Alley wasn't getting it and then Belfast would stay. I, I know I mentioned it during our predictions episode, but it doesn't surprise me too much because of uh, how hard Del Toro is really pushing this, and especially that there's like almost a like a limited wide release of the black and white version, which I think yeah. looks like this like the superior version of this film. So it doesn't surprise me that much, but still, like I yeah. thought Belfast would be in there for sure. Yeah, and we're starting to see the cracks in the Belfast armor. Yeah, so four <laughs> out of five. Our next one, we'll go real quick. Um, best original song is "Be Alive." My Born uh, to be alive. Dix- oh, wait, no, not that one. <laughs> Dixon and Beyonce. Uh, dos or you want to say this actual one? I don't want to. Oh, dos argentes. Not, 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 my accent may have been a little off. Wait, is that, <laughs> okay, right? is that horrible actually accent. Argentes. Argentes. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. Okay. By Lin Manuel. Two caterpillars. Okay, uh, <laughs> Lin Manuel Miranda. Uh, Down to Joy by Van Morrison, which was expected. I, it was a boring pick, but No Time to Die, which probably win. And this is a surprise. Somehow you do. Diane Warren. I wasn't too bummed out. I was like four out of five. I thought Just Look Up was going to be there by Ariana Grande. Yeah, but somehow they made it in. I'm kind of glad. So, I mean, what? I'm glad that I got snubbed. Yeah, but, pleasantly surprised. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much we got four out of five. We got that one wrong. Probably everybody got that one wrong. <laughs> I, I, I really doubt it. Like, bitch, don't lie to me. You put Diane Warren there. <laughs> <laughs> so best visual effects. This one, honestly, to be fair, a lot of people will like got this one wrong because this was like kind of a free for all grab. But I'm kind of happy because now I get to force. I have an excuse to force <laughs> <laughs> somebody here who refuses to watch a good movie. Who? What's it called? Uh, Sarah Reynolds. You know. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? But okay, let's go into. I gotta list. watch Free Guy. Yeah. All right, so Dune, Free Guy, No Time to Die, Shang Chi, and The Legend of the Ten Rings, and Spider Man No Way uh, Home. We got three out of five. Our picks were actually instead a free guy and Spider Man. Uh, though Spider Man was my dark horse, free guy is a big surprise. But you know, congratulations on their part. Um, but I'm really surprised that Godzilla vs Kong didn't get out there. Yeah, I and, think I was pushing for Spider Man, but no, I was definitely pushing for yeah. uh, Godzilla vs Kong. But I like, I, yeah, yeah, and I, and I tricked you with Spider Man, like, oh, the Matrix, like it's a legacy pick, it might get in. Yeah, I was wrong. I was like, eh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I really thought Ghostbuster Afterlife was going to get been, in, even though it happy. wasn't polling yeah. very well. I that, thought that it was, you know, maybe going to get it. Because, it wouldn't have surprised me. You know. This is honestly very surprising. I mean, I, I say Spider Man surprised me less, but Free Guy, I was like, oh, okay. That's a weird one. <laughs> and Godzilla vs. Kong. Like, I, okay, it as much as I like Free Guy, Godzilla vs. Kong, come on. million times. It's better than all of this except Doom. Yeah, like, honestly, that movie is is like 80% CG rendering. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it, at least it's done well enough that, like, it's, you know, it looks good. It's not, like, you know, crazy. Although, to be fair, I guess Free Guy is also a lot of CG. CG and it's good. It's on. good, but I don't, yeah. I, I don't know. All right, so let's go to it's so let's go to best production design. We're, so we're three out of five for one. best visual. Yes, yeah. we did good. Except what this is a big fuck up for best production design. Yeah. All right, so it's Dune, Nightmare Alley, The Tragedy of Macbeth, 
West Side Story and the French. No, I'm just kidding. It's the power of the dog. Oh, what how the did fuck? the French Dispatch not make that? That doesn't make I know. I was any like, sense. Like when that happened, I was like, wait, what are, what are they missing? This is my reaction. Like, okay, that's good. This is going to trigger a second French Revolution. I'll tell you that much. I, I, I was like, I, I, I was like, wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Where's 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 the French Dispatch? Wait, wait, where's the French Dispatch? Oh, oh, where's oh. Maximilian Rose Pierre when you need him? You know what yeah. I'm saying? I thought that Wes Anderson had a spot reserved for press production design whenever he made a movie. I thought yeah. that's just how it worked. Yeah, it's you like, know? oh, duh, he's gonna get yeah. nominated and he probably should win. And not gonna lie, I think Pirate Dog has really good production design, but I think this probably came to the case of this film performing overperforming because of how much of a front runner it is. Yeah. Anybody who says Power Dog is not a front runner, you are lying to yourself. <laughs> it's basically the no man land this year. Um and it, it took over, but let's be honest, the French dispatch was like a million he's it, 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 no, almost none of these films, even like the only one that holds a candle is maybe Macbeth and Dune. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. Well, and just look how stylized the French Dispatch is, you know, in all yeah. of its different sections and really capturing the aesthetic that it's trying to go for in each section. You, you can't say that that isn't the top-notch, yeah, it, most excellent production. If you've seen a Wes Anderson film, you get it. I think yeah. the French Dispatch <laughs> like, is basically, like, either underseen by the Academy or they're just sick of Wes Anderson at this point. Yeah, I don't maybe, know. I maybe. really don't know. They're like, hey, how about you switch it up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> how could you ever get sick of Wes Anderson? I don't. Like, they're like, hey, Wes, yeah. how about you go to space? Let's do a sci-fi version. Oh, <laughs> he has a weird film that's coming out. Okay, Are so you serious? Is there a sci-fi yeah. Wes Anderson movie? Yeah. They're, they're it's going to be great. Fuck yeah, something. dude. <laughs> uh, what's it called? Uh, all right. It's the best documentary short. And uh, we, like I said, for any of the shorts, uh, we will, what's it called? Since our lack of access to it, we'll just say congratulations and name the nominees off. We didn't have predictions. Okay. All right. So Audible... Uh, by Matt Ogans and Jeff McLean. Lead Me Home by uh, Pedro Cost and John Shank. The Queen of Basketball uh, by Ben Proudfoot and uh, Three Songs for Benazir. Or no, 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 Three Songs of Benazir by Elizabeth Mirze and I'm sorry for the other person's name. Uh, and When We Were Bullies by Jay Rosenblatt. Congratulations. Yay. Good job. Now, best document feature. We, what's called, we didn't mention this on our uh, podcast, but, you know, we're, we're combing through yesterday and added it in and... We did surprisingly well, but there's one that's like really glaring and why it didn't get there. Yeah. Um, and there's one that was like, what the fuck is this? I've never heard of this fucking documentary. All right. So the nominees are for <laughs> Ascension, Attica, Flea, which is excellent. Summer Attica. Soul, which is also, we're, we're gonna, I'm going to try to get everybody to, oh, it's on Hulu, so we could all watch that. It's a favorite to win. Um, and Riding Wait. with Fire. Which Wait, is sorry, a, for which one? Uh, Summer Soul is a uh, favorite to win. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's on, it's on Hulu. Though. It's, yeah, it's Quest Love. I love them. What's it called? <laughs> and uh, Riding with Fire, which is like, what the fuck? Where the fuck did that PBS documentary shit come from? Like, where in the <laughs> PBS documentary asshole did this pull out of? I don't know. Okay, fine. It might be great. But I can't even see it until the March 1st. And I don't know anyone as a screener for this. So I'm like, how? But whatever. I don't know if they were like, W sounds cool or whatever. Uh, I don't know. But you know what's missing from this list? The Rescue! Yeah. The Rescue! That had like the exciting. It's on Disney Plus. It has an it's an exciting documentary about um the the rescue of twelve Thai boys in a cave. Yeah, one of the most enthralling stories of I don't know the past decade, where everyone was like holding their breath to find out what was going to happen, and they didn't nominate it. They always had that one like uh, "Won't You Be My Neighbor?" got snubbed. Yeah, <laughs> that one year, whatever. Blame. All right, so best animated feature. I'm so glad we are five for five on this. Yeah. Yeah, we're four for five on the previous one, and by that, the way. And we recorded that like forever ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, I, we took out Bell. <laughs> so, all right. And Ganto, Flea, Luca, The Mitchells versus the Machine, and Ryan, The Last Dragon. And we're, like you. I said, I have won my bet, and Ganto yes. got nominated. <laughs> and Miles, I will get Philip that chicken dinner. <laughs> and Miles, you should have thought with your head and not your heart. Hey, I was <laughs> thinking with my head, just the Academy wasn't. Oh, 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 burn. Miles, yeah. Miles, Miles, Miles. <laughs> and as I, there was I, a, I'm just kidding. I kind of knew it was going to get nominated all along. I was being very hopeful. But <laughs> I mean, you can't blame me for being hopeful when the movie that got nominated has a message about hope, can you? I mean, like almost all animated films. Yeah, I was gonna say you can say that about all go down the line here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> all right, best makeup and hairstyling. And like, I'm so glad I put this at the last second. Um, but um, and also thank you for um, thank you to the Oscar expert. Thank you for the guilds and uh, and a couple of people, uh, a couple of my friends who are insiders for tell, telling me like they who who they were like, okay, Philip, you you fucked up here. Why you didn't put in the first first nominee coming to America for best makeup and hairstyling? We got five for five. 
The yeah. five nominations are Coming to America, Cruella, Dune, The Eyes of Tammy Fame, House of Gucci. Remember, House of Gucci did get one nomination. It was for this one. For Paolo Gucci. That's a me. Honestly, that's the only category I would give them any consideration for. Yeah, yeah. Even though you couldn't tell with all the weird uh, color, color desaturation that <laughs> they put on. Um, what's it called? Coming to America, like old man makeup. It it's always gonna, plays well. It plays really fucking well. Um, and now I guess I, we have to all watch Coming to America now, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We'll watch just, that. Wait, I, so I will if, be nice enough. Google I'll, image if search. old man makeup plays well, why didn't Dirty Grandpa get nominated, huh? <laughs> Dude, it should have. It should have. It should have. <laughs> it's not. That's not even just in a movie. He's walking around in everyday life, convincing people hey, he's guys, an old yeah. man. Jackass Forever just came out, which I am actually excited to see. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, one of the best Jackass <laughs> films out there, and it has old yeah. man makeup. So, it, it, does it hold up to the legacy? We shall see. All right. So, best film editing. I, I, we, I, we got fucked on this one pretty bad. Um, nominees are <laughs> Don't Look Up. Oh, fucking shit. <laughs> Why? Dune. Why? King Richard, The Power of the Dog, and Tick Tick Boom. So we got everything here except Don't Look Up and Tick Tick Boom. Because instead we had Belfast and Licorice Pizza because Belfast we considered a front runner, but I guess no longer because the stats of um, a film that doesn't get best editing and winning the best picture is like almost blah, 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 none. You're almost out of the race. Um, because editing is you like kind take of the that to the bank, by the way. Editing is where your film actually comes together. So yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And Licorice Pizza, I guess, is like no longer a big front runner either. I, yeah, I was dude. very surprised because it had amazing editing. And, and guess who took that spot instead? Fuck it, don't look up, don't look that up. Terrible, uh, you I know, mean, I, I don't even know West why. Side Story is better than that because it didn't get nominated for, but then. I don't know. Should I? I, I maybe it's my fault. Like I should have kept that in there, or yeah. because you no, were thinking advice. You're thinking with your I, heart. I, I really think the "Don't Look Up" got over nominated. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, no, I was thinking in my head this time, but I, I, I didn't think hard enough. But because like it didn't get a lot of the precursors, and it wasn't tracking that well. So I was like, okay. And I know people kept on bringing up the fact that um, Adam McKay's uh, editing team won for Vice. I got nominated for Big Short. Uh, I'm like, I don't think it's gonna happen again here. I think I personally also I think the editing is terrible. I know a lot of my editing friends, and I'm an editor myself. I think I mean I don't blame the editors, but it's just how the film was executed it was terrible. Yeah. But guess what happened? It's it, it fucked us in the ass. Three out of five, you bitch. <laughs> okay, so, oh, <laughs> so speaking once I, of editing, we're once gonna I pull the editing dick out of down. my ass. <laughs> um, let's put okay. Let's go to the animated shorts and the live action shorts. We will just mention them as we didn't have access to these shorts and just applaud the uh, nominees. Ala Kachu, Take and Run, The Dress, The Long Goodbye, Riz Ahmed's one. Hey Riz, good for you. On my mind, and please hold. And that's uh, you have a story about please hold, right? Yeah, uh, my brother-in-law is like related to one of the directors. Is Levin Mens Mensky? Uh, yeah, I believe so. So, hey, great job! I don't, Congratulations! I've never, I've if never you met this you before. Uh, high five or air, mental clap. <laughs> yeah, Can mental you, clap. <laughs> me, me, <laughs> imagine my hand, your hand hitting each other through the mental <laughs> space-time continuum. Exactly. Okay, now best animated short. We're going to do this quickly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, Affairs of the Art, Bestia, Box Ballot, Robin, Robin. And the windshield wiper. Hopefully, this is all very easily accessible because I like I don't like the fact that I haven't watched these. It bothers me. To it my does. Core. Sickens me. Not these guys because they're used to. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm joking. Uh -huh, yeah, uh -huh. sure you are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell, I'm the nice one of the group. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we get to the meat of the category because fuck the shorts. Oh, so I'm just meaty. kidding. The shorts are important. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, the, shorts, the shorts are <laughs> yeah. The shorts are very important. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. The shorts yeah. are important because they're actually the groundwork for a lot of up and coming hey, filmmakers. Absolutely. Have yeah. you ever heard the saying "No shorts, no shoes, no service"? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's a good Miles one. I'll give yeah, I'll give a point for Miles. Right outside the Chinese theater. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So let's go. Okay, first let's go to best adapted screenplay. Or you know, best original first. Best original screenplay. We are four for five on this. The nominees are Belfast, which we got, Don't Look Up, which we got, King Richard, which we got, Licorice Pizza, which Yay. we got, but the last one. I'm so glad. I'm actually glad. One of the few times I'm glad I'm wrong. The worst person in the world. Yeah. That's it. Thank God. Fuck being the worker. I mean, you know, it's not that bad. But, I, it, yeah. it, 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 but it doesn't deserve. It's not Aaron no. Sorkin's best work. No, it's not. I, th I was totally convinced he was going to get nominated because, again, like Aaron Sorkin. Yeah, he always like he's going to like writing is his deal. But it's this pretty... is his second snub. Though really? I know the first snub was worse because that was actually really good. Steve Jobs. 
Oh, he yeah, didn't get yeah. nominated for Steve Jobs. This one was like, like I was really on the fence for. I was like, I think it's probably gonna get nominated. Does it deserve it? Eh, maybe, maybe not. It was. It could have been better. So. And yeah, but for, I'm I'm totally fine with it losing out to worst person in the world. And I, good for worst person in the world, which might be coming in our Valentine's Day week episode. We shall see. I would Hi. still have replaced "Don't Look Up" with "The French Dispatch." Oh no, yeah, "Don't oh, Look no, Up" okay, doesn't belong not, there. Yeah, yeah, but we're yeah. talking about just like war tracking. Yeah, the ones that we just, unfortunately. In general, I'm saying like if I were to host an award show, that's Wait, how it would hosting look. and choosing nominations are different. Are you talking well, about if you were the entire Oscar yes, body? If, if yeah. it was all the academy, of miles, if the academy was just made up, of all eight thousand voters are yes. miles. We're gonna shave you down and paint you gold. Yeah, yeah you, you, like all the nominations that Power of the Dog got, French Dispatch would have gotten instead. Well, oh, okay, in never. addition. Okay, but only uh, if you yeah. do this nude, painted in gold, and all shiny and silvery, you know? Next year. Yeah, next Just year. wait, guys. We'll do it. Oh, yeah. French yeah. Dispatch is coming on HBO <laughs> next year, so watch that. <laughs> We're going to have to... <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know why I promoted French Dispatch. I actually should, because I really like that film. Yeah. Okay, so we're four for five on that one. Okay, good for you, US person, the worst person in the world. Yeah. Um, yeah. Best adapted screenplay. We are five for five on this. Fuck yeah, 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 yay! Coda, drive my car. Fuck yes. I am so glad this is and in It's here. a fantastically written film. I'm so glad to see it there. It's my personal pick for my favorite. I don't think it's going to win. It's going to power the dog, but we'll go on. Dune. <laughs> thank God that's on there. I changed. I know I know. I was like against it at the recording, but then thinking about it, how I got all the precursors and I'm like, Dune got 11 nominations at the BAFTAs. I was like, okay, it's probably going to get on. Yeah. How dare so you? So I, <laughs> I know I was corrected in my ways. So Dune. Well, I mean, I think you had a good justification for it. That it's, it's half only half. Yeah. yeah. You must correct them <laughs> <laughs> all right the lost daughter you know which was uh congratulations to maggie gyllenhaal for her i think it's her first writing nomination yeah so that and sounds about right yeah and the power <laughs> of the dog so and uh, real quick actually we'll talk about records for this one there's an interesting record for the best dad to screenplay yeah that's really cool yeah five Good. for five yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah i'm like happy with all these good job <laughs> so now best original score which i got fucked i should have I should have kept one of these. Yeah, you idiot. I know. I I I, I was surprised. I thought the uh, the French Dispatch was gonna get something, but no. Um, we're four for five on this. The nominees are Don't Look Up, Dune, Encanto, Parallel Mothers, and Power of the Dog. Alexander got fucked for the French Dispatch, and I'm surprised. Parallel Mothers. It had a really good performance. Yeah. Again, I'm happy to see Parallel Mothers in there. I like again, the score a lot. I'm still mortified to see Don't Look Up, but whatever. But yeah, Dune and Kanto, Parallel Mothers, Power of the Dog. I'm with it. Good job, guys. Congratulations. Wait, let's let's once again look at how many nominees that Don't Look Up has. Uh, Don't Look Up has four nominations. Uh, so we're almost done talking about them. Yeah, <laughs> so so yeah. let's go into best sound. <laughs> All right, so we are four out of five. Let's just go down the list. West Side Story, which we predicted. The Power of the Dog, which we predicted. Some people didn't. You were sleeping on that, people. Sound is very important in that film. No Time to Die, which made sense, obviously. Um, Dune, of course, it's going to win. But this one really shocked me because I don't think sound was that. I mean, it was good, but it was just not that important in the film. Is Belfast. Yeah. Weird. And because it didn't get nominated for a lot of the other guilds, uh, for sound guilds. But I actually thought either A Quiet Place Part 2 or like Last Night in Soho was going to get in. See, I still really thought Tick, Tick, Boom. Or even Tick, Tick, yeah, Boom. We I, I really too. thought yeah, the yeah. Tick, Tick, Boom. Yeah, I thought Tick, Tick, Boom could get, get in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was a little surprised that Quiet Place Part 2 didn't, but I was happy that it didn't because oh, I yeah, think yeah. the sound was like a serious downgrade from Part 1, which is, you know, it's unfortunate because it's a it's called A Quiet Place, but whatever. Um, I, but I, yeah, no, I'm, uh, for the most part, I'm happy with this. It's a decent list. Yeah. yeah. It's at Belfast who fucked with my four out of five. Yeah. I was I, I clean I want more five out of fives, but whatever. Best costume design, which I'm also four out of five. Fuck you guys. Um it is Cruella, Dune, Nightmare Alley, West Side Story, and the one that I fucked up on, and I should have just been confident and been like because I just thought nobody saw this film. Yeah, I can't believe you. Cyrano. Because I put House of Gucci instead because House of Gucci was a more viewed film. Uh, that means more voters probably were exposed to that. But look, I didn't I didn't I didn't say it as much as like, you know, I should have, but again, it's always uh what is it, period films always do well, especially this like kind of 
18th century kind of like a Victorian era or what is this like Napoleon yeah, see, era? I would have they had always that. do well dude. there's so much going on there you know but the film is like not going to be viewed by most people until February which is yeah like no way after, I, I know which is crazy. Like it, yeah like people should have like I know but I feel like people usually just tick that box because they're like oh it's a period film and it looks like this yeah it's fine check there it is well yeah. and I, I guess I like mean, enough Cyrano screeners he's got screeners yeah. but I just I just didn't think that enough people like the exposure right the hype yeah. and but I don't know. Yeah. Well, like, it, I mean, the Cyrano did buy out like a whole like hour long slot on national television to do like a four year consideration thing where they showed off the production and stuff like that. Yeah, and but we're really pushing for it hard. No, but I, so there was exposure, I think. And Not, a lot of people who didn't even necessarily see the film did get exposed to it. So I well, think that it Oscar built voters are the best yeah. exposed to Oscar voters is just having the sh showing the film. Yeah. Was it? Okay. Yeah. So. All right, so let's go and to our next category, to the acting. Right? Oh, wait, do, do we? Yeah, we do, yeah, we're acting. Right? Yeah, yeah, moving yeah, yeah. on to the wow. acting. Because yeah, 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 Ron gave me this look like, are we doing acting? Are, are, we, doing like, acting? are we doing acting? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, now? so we got four out of five. Um, I can't say fuck you, Cyrano, because I'm glad they got in. So, yeah. Congrats, Cyrano, but fuck me for well, getting it wrong. So <laughs> I, I do have a question for you. How many nominations did House of Gucci end up getting? Because Just I know, one. Okay. I know back in, like, November... He was pulling line. like, yeah, it, it was like where Power of the Dog's sitting now. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, maybe not, <laughs> no, that, no, maybe no, not no. that high. No, but there were it, there was a lot was of buzz high. for the movie. Yeah, and yeah. It was like, it looked like it was going to and it was do like, very well. And oh, no. Well. And unfortunately, yeah. you know. Oh, we'll talk about it. We'll talk when we yeah. get to acting. Oh, I which I'm actually believe. happy. They snubbed my boy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to him. Okay. Yeah. So, best supporting actor. We're just naming nominations and talk about our picks and who we're glad that we're not on here. Yeah. Okay. Karen Hines for Belfast. Troy Coster for Ooh. Coda. Mm -hmm. Cody Smith McPhee for Power of the Dog. And who saw that coming? And I'm wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jesse Plemons for the Power of the Dog. And J.K. Simmons for being the Ricardo. Those two were surprised as fuck. Yeah, okay, but for real though, who saw that one coming? <laughs> yeah, no one saw J.K. Simmons. I mean, I mean if, he if was you're gonna nominate he's anything like, for he's being Spanish the Ricardos. <laughs> Sorry. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I was talking over you. Uh, no, if you're going to nominate something for being the Ricardos, he's a good person to nominate. He's an amazing actor. I think he did an excellent job in his role and probably the best part about that film, in my opinion. He is. Yeah. yeah. He's I definitely don't, th I don't think it's Oscar parts. worthy or I, I think there's a lot of people that would take it. But honestly, yeah. Better than it's a me, Balaguchi. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. By the way, so Jared Little didn't fucking get in. Thank God. <sighs> Dude, what a relief, man. I was like holding my breath. I had I was waking up in the middle of the night, having cold sweats, panicking. <laughs> I was like just having terrible bowel movements. Would you have doubted Terrified. your own taste? If, yeah. if, if, <laughs> if, 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 I was like, please, nominated? don't get nominated. <laughs> but no, no, there, I, there's some justice oh, in this world. Why did you do this? Why did you do this to me? <laughs> I why? ended up making the chocolate with the chutuki. <laughs> No, the Oscars. Oh. Okay, we should do it. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a whole three hour. Yeah, to be pressure. fair, we're not we're not impersonating Italians. We're impersonating Jared, Jared Leto. Jared Leto. Horrible, horrible. Why are you doing this accent. to me? Okay, <laughs> I, I, I am disappointed to see that Bradley Cooper didn't get nominated, though. I, I really thought that he was going to get the nomination. Honestly, no, because <laughs> let's talk about our other two slots. We gave it to Bradley Cooper and uh, Mike Feist. Yeah, um, I didn't mm -hmm. want to give it to Bradley Cooper. No, I under, he did a great job, but I just didn't think it was Oscar worthy. And then, but uh, Mike Feist, I was really disappointed he didn't get nominated because I thought he was one of my favorite parts of uh, West Side Story. Yeah, that's oh, unfortunate. Yeah, we fucked. Sorry, Mikey. We got fucked. <laughs> All right, but and Mike. Or, Feist, oh, sorry, and also J uh, Jason Isaacs for Mass. Mass completely snubbed oh, across yeah, yeah, the board. This entire the entire thing. Go watch Mass. It's great. It's, they they fucked up. They, yeah. they fucked up. What it's what it's I think I think a lot of it happens to the fact that Franz Kranz is not like a big name. Yeah, I wasn't able to promote it. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I'm I'm hope he does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. um, and uh, snub for Jamie Dornan because I'd rather have him here than Karen Hines. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I like Karen Hines, but I think it was Jamie more of a Dornan. legacy play because well respected. He paid his dues, hasn't got you know yeah. nominated. He's so, never been nominated. I don't think he has. No. Wow. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I don't think he has. This is his first yeah, nomination. Correct us, Kieran. How, are you listening? Let us, <laughs> let us know. Or Siren, or what is it? Siren, How are we saying I, I want to say Siren, C-I, I don't know. 
but he's Irish, so it's hard to tell. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of Irish people this year. <laughs> there's a lot of Irish people yeah, this year. Yeah, for real though. Yeah. Okay, also, so, yeah. Speaking of best supporting actress, actress, Jesse Buckley, Irish as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> for the Lost Daughter, uh, Ariana DeBose, West Side Story, Judy Dench for Belfast. Which what the fuck? <laughs> Kirsten Dunst for the Heart of the Dog and Anjanu Ellis for King Richard. So we're three out of five. Uh, uh, what's it called? Our Dark Horse is Anne Dowd. And, but our our two picks that we have instead of Jesse Buckley and Judy Dench was one who probably should have got in instead of Judy Dench. Uh, got your on a ball for Belfast and Ruth Nega for passing. Those got a lot of the precursors. I thought they were both locks. That's crazy. Like e- even just like on our personal Instagram poll, I asked people like who should get best actress, and they put Ruth Nega. Everyone put Ruth Nega. Yeah, like I so yeah, that's surprising. She was great. Yeah, and you know like and, and I mean <sighs> Judy Dench and uh, Jesse Buckley, they weren't even on our like dark horse list. No, no. Judy yeah. Dench was like she's it was absent. She the was entire the entire campaign. She was the Spanish Inquisition of nominees. Yeah, like yeah. I, look, this is my reaction. <laughs> I was like. <laughs> Wait, the, the first entry of Jesse, I was like, what? Uh, what? 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 Moragu? Moragu? I started speaking Korean. That's how you know those things went wrong. And I was like, and Aaron DeBose, oh, okay, okay. Do you remember Judy Dash? Oh, why? 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 And that was me. And then yeah. I went to Kirsten does an entree. I was like, oh, I can breathe again. I could breathe again. But this is, it is Judy Dench, though. She is like yeah. the most acclaimed actress of all time. I guess she's, that's the only reason well, why she got in. One of the most. I mean, of the most yeah. Besides uh, what, probably... Meryl Streep. Yeah, Meryl yeah, Streep. Yeah. Norm- uh, uh, Frances McDormand. Which, by the way, Wendy was upset that you said uh, Frances McDormand was better than uh, than what's the fa- uh, what we just said right wait, now. Wait. I can't remember. I Meryl Streep. Did, did Meryl I say Street, she was better or did I just say that she was... Because I, I did say a fact that she got more wins than Meryl yeah, Streep. Yeah. That's true. That's that an empirical true. fact. That is true. Yeah. yeah. So how, how, how can you get mad at me for saying a fact? I don't know, but she wanted me to throw something at you. I'll, yeah. You should watch all of Francis McDormand's performances. <laughs> 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 don't, worry, don't get me wrong. I, I think they're both great. Meryl Streep is also a beast. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. What's it called? She was the Iron Lady at one point. All right. Well, let's keep going here. What's it called? Uh, let me just let me just do my reaction. Yeah, she was the time. Iron Lady. That yeah. movie was... Boring as hell, though. But she was good. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just see my reaction for Best Supporting Actress again. Jesse. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Ariana. Oh, yeah. Thank God. Judy. Moragu. Moragu. Oh, Kristen Dustin. and Andrew Dallas. So now we go to the Best Actor. I'm glad that we replayed all that. Yeah. <laughs> so Best Actor. We are... Oh, okay, by the way, three for five for Best Supporting Actress. So we got fucked. Um, Best Actor. We are five for five. <laughs> Javier Bardem. Thank God we stuck with that. Because I was like... Yeah. Oh. I was like, I really don't want to put him there. But, but he's, he's probably, probably going to get nominated. It. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's like the catchphrase for half a clue. I don't want to be there, but he's probably gonna happen anyway. So here we go. Javier Bardem <laughs> for being the Ricardos, Benedict Cumberbatch for the Power of the Dog, Andrew Garfield for Tick Tick Boom, Will Smith for King Richard, and Denzel Washington for the Tragedy of Macbeth. Nothing to say. Our nominations are right. Honestly, I would have taken Javier Bardem for anybody else. The yeah. main lead for um, Drive My Car. Yeah. They're, Nicolas Cage for Pig. Absolutely. I would have put Nicolas Cage for Pig. Mm-hmm. Even Peter Dinklage for Sarah now. Dev Patel for Green Knight, man. Yeah, actually, yeah. I haven't even thought about that. He was really good, too. There are plenty of other actors. Yep. Who could Walking have taken Phoenix that space. for Come On, Come On. Even Javier Bardem yeah. was like, oh, wow. Yeah. Huh. That's Andrew reaction. Garfield again. You know, yeah, why yeah. not? For yeah. Einstein, oh, actually, yeah. It would be supporting, right? I don't know. Yeah. No, no. I mean, for, for Tick, Tick, Boom. Just put him twice. Just like, <laughs> 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 What's it called? Um, all right. Let's go to Best Actress. So close. We were so close. So close. I, I, I fucked up. I, I, I convinced him. Well, I was right about, well, to be fair, I was right about Penelope Cruz. Yeah. So, so no, I, yeah. I, I was good at that. But this is a, this honestly is also one, is the second biggest snub out of this year. And there's a, like, not because I wanted this person there, but just because what was it, expected. Yeah. Because the only person to get all the precursor nominations. And this, we'll have a conversation after is about precursor nominations. Jessica Chastain. Thank God. It's been like almost 10 years since she got nominated for Zero Dark Thirty. Yay. Good for her. Honestly, I, I love her, for her in everything. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. I, I I would be totally fine seeing she her won. win. She won. Yeah. Uh, and it's great. It is great. It is, her yeah. performance is fantastic. She loses herself in that role, man. <laughs> it's like, oh, honey. Do <laughs> you see the light? Bam, bam, bam. That's like literally a scene where <laughs> yeah. she does. And I'm like, I Unrecognizable. Yeah. Um, Olivia Coleman for The Lost Daughter. Penelope Cruz for Pale of Mothers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Nico came in for me and the Ricardos. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She was good. She was good. I'm sorry, She Nicole. was good. No, she was good. She was serviceable to the film. Yeah. I'll say that. <laughs> um, and this one. 
Kristen Stewart for Spencer. Yes. Thank God. I was cheering up and down. I was like, woo, woo, woo. I was like pounding my chest like yeah. a gorilla. I'm so happy for her, man. Uh, on, like, she legit. deserved it. Yeah, she yeah. really did. And honestly, she might win. She was getting snubbed mm-hmm. for like everything else. Understandably, most people didn't want to put her on this list because they just thought that like, even though she may or may not deserve it, it doesn't seem like she's going to get it. But she did. She snuck yeah, in yeah. there. It's, it's almost as if the snubs helped her like helped her narrative yeah. like the voters were trying to course correct the award season yeah and they were like let's put her in make sure and she knows she might even win i wanted to yeah. put it in yeah I, I, he, he <laughs> wanted to put it in. honestly if i lose the suggestion but then but then who i would we wouldn't have taken out lady gaga so it would have either penelope yeah. or kristen stewart yeah but lady gaga the thing is she got all the precursor nominations she she might even win at like baftas but she didn't fucking get nominated at all for the actress. That's Weird. wild. And the thing is, it's like she she got nominated for um, what's it called with, with the Bradley Cooper film uh, Star is Born, and she might have even won that year. Um, I was very shocked that I was very shocked that she didn't get nominated because I thought like the Oscars love her, so that's not even the thing. I really think it's like the the kind of the buzz around House of Gucci dying down, and also it, that's why it's very important to be an actor in an Oscar uh, Best Picture contender film. And on top of that, I think like her accent coach, or not her accent coach particularly, Simon Hayek is the one who brought brought the accent coach in, and I'm assuming was a general consultant. She was the accent, or he was the accent coach. I think that was yeah, yeah. Or, was, was it he or she? I'm not. I think no. it was she. But then sorry, um, <laughs> the accent coach, like after the interview where she talked about it, it sounds more Eastern European, kind of derailed her entire momentum. There's like whole, like I think that's like one of the things, but whatever. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so now we'll go to. Our last two categories. Oh my gosh. This is a big one. Best director. The nominees are Paul Thomas Anderson for Licorice Pizza. Kenneth Branagh for Belfast. Jane Campion for The Power of the Dog. Ryusuke Hamaguchi for Drive My Car. And Steven Spielberg for West Side Story. I'm not even going to ask what each accent is supposed to Oh, it was an name. accent. It was just a different tone of voice. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't even trying to do accent, but yeah. oh, what are you trying to say? No, what I don't know. I mean, I would have been say? impressed to see you do like, you know, like an Irish accent, like a Western. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but what what's wrong with those five? I don't know. I feel like we're missing somebody here. Oh, wait. Wait, who are we missing? Julia de Carneau for Titan. No. Who are we oh. missing? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, we could have. But... In terms of what everything was polling for, is Denis Villeneuve for Dune? Why is he not on here? I don't know. Where man. is he? But the chances of Dune winning Best Picture just fell drastically. Oh yeah, it's done. It's zero. Uh, zero percent. It's not gonna get in. It's not gonna win. I'm not. It's already nominated, but it's not gonna win. It's not gonna win. Well, he was polling number fucking two. He got all the fucking precursors. Got nominated at the DGA. Honestly, the people that were probably going to get snubbed was either Kenneth Branagh or Steven Spielberg. And I thought Ryusuke Hamaguchi, which you were right. We're, by the way, we were four for five. Fuck you, the Oscars, for not nominating Denis and kicking out of Kenneth. We would have been five for five. You fuck with my stats, bitches. <laughs> um, I don't understand. How do you not put did, did Dune? Dune got 10 fucking nominations. The second most nominated film in the fucking Academy Awards. Did it just make itself? Yep. Did, did, what, did, did, like, did no one say? Did no one give directions to anybody? It, it, the thing is, it's like a lot of the times I I can understand why a film may not like, may receive a lot of different accolades, but not best director. But for Dune in particular, that film is is Denis' vision brought to life. You know? Yes, like it is very much his his uh force behind that entire production, behind making it what it came out to be. And yes, it's obviously it's you know it's a group project. Everyone works on it, but. It really was what vision. he was pushing. Yeah, so for his him vision. to to get snubbed for director is really baffling. Like I did not get that. I mean, you. I mean, of he course, he might have even won. I don't know. Yeah. He might have even won. It might have yeah, been him winning. Have, yeah. And Howard's off for best picture. It's I probably mean, Jane Campion winning. But I'm just saying, yeah, get an outside shot. Yeah, it's funny. It, you know what? It's weird. I actually think he might win DJ now. The Directors Guild, which is technically oh, yeah. more important. Like I think, yeah, like, he probably the directors would be like, "What the fuck?" And they like nominate like, a fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're like, win. "Hey, dude, what? That's fucked up." Yeah, no, he he might he might for real. He got nominated for Arrival, which I thought was great. Absolutely, yeah, he got nominated for Arrival, which was a less <laughs> of a contender than Dune was. Did he get nominated? He did not get nominated for Blade Runner. No, he didn't. That is some bullshit. That is that is that film was yeah, I got fucked. 
What the fuck? I didn't really enjoy that film. To be fair, I did watch it on a plane. Oh my god, Miles! But... Did we not tell you uh, not to <laughs> ever say that on the podcast? Miles, oh our credibility just shot no. through the roof. Miles, sh- you are banned for talking for five minutes. Another timeout. That's the second timeout. One more, and he's done. It, to be fair, I also saw Blade Runner twenty forty nine on a plane, but after I already watched it in the theater like three times. Yes. Oh, god. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's um. Uh, okay, I'm about to lose. This is my <laughs> this is my reaction. Okay, you, wow, you yeah, know, you know Great I like choices. messing with your brain. I, I was like, when, when nominations were happening, I was like, oh yeah, it's good. Wow, okay. Yeah. And then they net, have all the nominations. I was like, wait, someone's missing. Someone's someone's wait wait. And I, I like I started jumping on my bed. I was like, no, no, oh, oh no, what? Uh, th- uh, uh, e. And then my neighbor went to go knock on my door. And I was in a pain. <laughs> um, I don't know. Fuck, this is weird. I'm 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 still in denial right now. Yeah, uh, someone let's go had to pull the fire alarm. It was it was a whole scene. Let's go to best picture. The nominees are Belfast, Coda, Don't Look Up. Oh, by the way, congratulations to Drive My Car for Risu Kamaguchi, your best director. I, I forgot to say that. Oh yeah, yeah dude, good, dude. that's uh, that awesome. Pleasant surprise. Like even though we put him on our list, I was like, he was one that I was like, man, I really hope he does get. Uh, nominated, but like I don't know if he will. It, it just shows the love for Drive My Car. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Let's go nominees again. Belfast Coda. Don't look up. Drive My Car, which just cemented the love for this film by the Academy Awards, and it has and people were right in giving this a last last minute push. Dune, King Richard, Licorice Pizza, The Power of the Dog, West Side Story, and Tick Tick Nightmare Alley. Wow. Tick Tick wow. Boom did not make it in. <sighs> I cannot believe it. That's unfortunate. And Nightmare Alley, whoa. I was like, what the fuck? How the... F- okay, what the fuck? Oh, wait, did I just hear that right? Yeah. Did I just hear that right? No, that's crazy. It really is kind of crazy. Like, I, I don't know... I, I don't know how... Oop, sorry, the hiccups. I don't really know how many people saw that coming. Like, uh, Tick, Tick, no. Boom. It was tracking so well early on, and deservedly so. And then for, yeah, just completely gone. Like, really. Just like, it, it's like it lost almost everything. It's, <sighs> but don't worry. Don't look up is still here, so that's great. Yeah, I okay. Honestly, we're nine for ten. Not much to say other than the fact is I thought the boom would be on, but it isn't. And um, I mean, as far as out. films on Netflix go, it didn't really seem like they were pushing it that hard. Take the boom. Yeah, there the the campaign was pretty strong for that film. Like it got a lot of guild wars too. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, Don't Look Up is here, so well, that's just... Yeah, yeah, Netflix was putting a lot of money between their films to, like, power... Yeah. yeah so, so but, Netflix but is I think that that might be the Netflix film that kind of got left behind in the push. So Yeah, uh, by voters, So not correct by me if I'm wrong here, but I heard that, like, uh, basically the Oscar campaign person that was, like, behind most of A24's films, and right after they won, uh, they got Moonlight for Best Picture, eventually went to Netflix. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. And they also got a lot of other, ca- uh, like like, just... Contributors, campaign tr- contributors from other like Fox Searchlight and stuff. Well, now they just Searchlight. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, and you know what? That guy must be pretty damn good if Don't Look Up is doing so well. Like, yeah. wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Campaigns are important, people. It is. Yeah. It, it is. It's how you get nominations. Um, honestly, I'm I lost for, for I mean, and obviously Power of the Dog, and then also. Tick, tick, boom. The fact that everyone thought it was going to be there, that's three separate Netflix films. That's that's pretty crazy. All right. Before we get into speculation real quick, and you were kind of winding down, let's just name some of the records that this broke. Is a lot of records are broken. Um, I won't go through all of them, but I'll go through some of the big ones. Uh, Denzel Washington extends his record as most nominated black actor. This is his for most nominated black actor ever. Ten nominations overall, nine for acting and one for producing. This is the first time since 1992 where females, uh, it's a female written film was dominated the adapted screenplay category. Congratulations. Yay. Last person to win best adapted screenplay, a uh, last woman to win best adapted screenplay was uh, Diana Osana for Broadway Mountain in 2005. Kate Blanchett surpasses the record for female actors in uh, Best Picture nominees, three of them being Lord of the Rings. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, this is also the fourth year in a row that, where they're at least. Um, one international feature film director nominated for best director. Alfonso Cuaron, Bong Joon-ho, uh, Bong, Bong Joon-ho, Thomas uh, Vinterberg, and now Ryusuke Hamaguchi. And there's a guy from Cold War who also Sweet. got nominated. Um, Drive My Car is the first Japanese film to be nominated for best picture, so congratulations. That kind of really blows my mind. Yeah. I mean, 
was there a rule before that made it so that uh, foreign no, it's films just like could not? Internet, it just they just yeah. weren't nominated. Because I'm like, uh, Kurosawa's been a director. For... No, he got best. He got best uh, director nomination for um, for Ran. But he didn't get best picture. Yeah, because it's like I remember there's only five films and. Let's be honest. This is an older time in the Oscars. Oh, yeah, that's true. There's only five. So, this, yeah, that's my question. It's like, why, like, there must have been some more restrictions besides the fact that, you know. They just didn't nominate. They just didn't nominate yeah, outside. Not, yeah, they didn't nominate outside. It's yeah. not until when they went eight, nine, ten, they started okay. to put If it ain't in. American and British, it ain't getting nominated. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's why um, I was surprised. With, you know, with Hero, when I said that got snubbed? Yeah. His, his was one of the few uh, films, uh, foreign films, to get nominated for Best Picture separation wow. so for him not to get a hero which is like what the fuck <laughs> i'll bitch about that later um will smith became the ninth person to get nominated for producing and acting for the same film nine first time nominees in acting categories congratulations ariana debose if she wins she'll be the first openly queer woman of color to win an acting prize congratulations if that happens kenneth brana yeah if it doesn't happen then you suck. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Wow. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Kenneth Branagh becomes the first person to be nominated in seven different categories. Best Picture, Best Original Screenplay, Best Director, Best Supporting Actor, uh, Best Adapted Screenplay, and Best Live Action Short. Like, what a beast. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, Steven Spielberg breaks his own Best Picture nomination <laughs> records. Eleven of his films that he produced were nominated for Best Pictures. And also, he received his eighth Oscar nomination for Best Director. Only three other directors that got eight or more, which is Billy Wilder for eight, um, Martin Scorsese for nine films, and William Wilder for 11. And also, Steven Spielberg is the first person to be nominated for Best Director for six consecutive decades, which is wild as fuck. That is 60 insane. 60 years. 60 years of filmmaking. Yeah. Wow. Uh, West Side Story is also the second remake of a previous Best Picture winner to be nominated for the same award. The first one would be Unity on the Bounty, 1962. And now the next record was Leonardo DiCaprio ties Jack Nicholson for male actor in Best Picture, most Best Picture nominees or whatever. Wait, hold on. Let's say that again. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio ties Jack Nicholson for male actor in Best Picture nominees record 10. Oh, you didn't like the way I said it? No, I didn't like it. Oh, you didn't like the way I said it? No, I think I it was thought... amazing and, and confusing. No, I think... I'm think... trying to make our viewers yeah. like do some mental gymnastics. I saw you fumble... You, you're discrediting me. I saw you fumble your words like... I, c I couldn't think of anyone that fumbled recently. <laughs> <laughs> Fumbling <laughs> is good. Fumbling <laughs> to success. But yeah, it's a lot. But Robert De Niro is 11. <laughs> He'll have 12 next year. Wow. Wait, why 12? Oh, no, 12 this year. Because oh. um, he's going to be in the Martin Scorsese film. Oh, yeah. Apple TV. <laughs> well, actually, and Leonardo DiCaprio will have, uh, they're going to be in the same, they're going to be in the film, same film together in a Scorsese film. Yeah, it's funny because you mentioned uh, Spielberg's like uh, eighth Oscar nomination for Best Director, and it's and like Scorsese, Scorsese, has, Scorsese nine. has nine, and it's like half of those like on uh, DiCaprio's. Or Scorsese. <laughs> or Scorsese. <laughs> Gangs of New York, The Departed, uh, fucking uh, Wolf of Wall Street, The yeah, Aviator. The Aviator. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, he's going to. And think, also, De Niro. Sorry. They, De Niro. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. That's also Scorsese. What's he called? He just got Irishman recently. Yeah. Yeah. Which Robert De Niro was robbed of a Best Actor nomination. All right. And Hans Zimmer might have the composer record for longest time between Oscar wins 28 years since he won for 1994 for The Lion King, which is crazy. How? That, that's, that's crazy. That's a long time. Yeah. He has made great scores since then. He hasn't. He hasn't been. <laughs> He, he has, hasn't won since Spice Girls were a thing. Like, what the fuck? Yes, before I was born. <laughs> That's crazy. A year after I was born. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and it, yet he's still constantly talked about in modern culture as being one of the greatest composers out there. Yes. Oh, yeah, same. What about yeah. his score? For even okay, I know technically um, Dunkirk didn't have like a score score or even Interstellar, but his stuff for Christopher Nolan. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, honestly, even though the Dunkirk, you know, score, not score, whatever, it, it should have definitely received some nominations for that. Like, it was fantastic. Yeah. No, it did. It just didn't, he didn't win. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Or yeah. Interstellar. It, it should have won. Yeah. Or Interstellar had a fantastic score, yeah. too. It, it didn't win. Beautiful. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean? Bro. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. And, uh, and congratulations, Riz Ahmed, to be the first person, fifth person to be nominated for an acting and short film categories. Good for you. It was just for the. Short film was The Long Goodbye and Sound of Metal, which got nominated for last year. Congratulations to sound mixer Andy Nelson for being the third most nominated person alive. 22 nominations. His most recent being West Side Story. 
Wow. He won two Academy Awards for Saving Private Ryan and Les Le- Le- Le Mis. The only other people that have 22 or more is uh, Randy Newman, 22, Woody Allen, 24, and John Williams, 52. 52. Which makes sense. John Williams. That's like, if he just won for each year, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's going to happen? He's um, doing the score for uh, Steven Spielberg's The Fableman. So he'll be 53. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right yeah. I and mean, really at this point he's like the you know he's if he makes something then he gets it exactly yeah. but it's, exactly. it's deserve it every time yeah no it, it's so. brilliant every time say what you will about the prequels or the sequel star wars movies Duel of the fates yeah the music is fantastic except for maybe rise of skywalker but i, I will oh, say oh, the music is good for rise of skywalker that is not john williams's fault you think i, I will okay. say that in harry potter and the chamber of secrets yeah. they accidentally used a song or a part of the score from the star wars prequels <laughs> did they really yes, is it accident they did. or is it john williams just doing I, it no it no no be. john williams assistant accidentally grabbed the wrong disc to take it over to the production. <laughs> and what did John hilarious. Williams, he saw that and he let it in and it's no longer a mistake. Yeah. Because okay. John Williams, yes. <laughs> he makes no mistakes. 52 nominated John Williams, who now will be 53 nominated John Williams. Congratulations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Too many awards, but Sir also Williams. deserves. All right. And now Empower the Dog is the first film to be directed by a woman to receive more than 10 nominations, which is crazy. And also, this is the other crazy part. No female, no woman, no female director has been nominated twice for Best Director at Academy Awards. Jane Campion is the first. That's crazy. You'd think Catherine Bigelow would have gotten at least two by now. Yeah, but she got enough for Zero Dark Thirty. Or Chloe Zhao. Or like. Oh, no, Chloe Zhao. Her first one is No Man's Line. And she won. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying. But like. Well, what else should she have got nominated before? Eternals. (laughs) (laughs) Exactly. Yeah. And the last one, this is big. This is really big. Flea is the first film to be nominated for Best Animated Feature Film, Best International Feature Film, and Best Documentary Feature. We were trying to get Miles to see this film. Uh, it's it, really good. I'm going to try to see it. I'm so, I'm sorry. It's this just, weekend. Are, are, it's like, it depends. Is it available anywhere this weekend? It, it's on theaters. Oh, it is? Yeah. It's been. I've been telling you for a while. It's been theaters nearby you. Oops. <laughs> yeah. You're yeah. just like, nah. I'm just kidding now. I get it. You're busy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah. guys. Right. I've got a life. So uh, let us know what you guys yeah. think when it comes to the Oscars. What well, were you surprised? Oh, I thought we were going to talk about your Oscar hosts. Oh, yeah. Do you oh. still want to or no? No, this is what happens. This is why we shouldn't host the Oscars. So. <laughs> <laughs> we'll right, well, Oscar party. hosts, like, there's rumors that Pete Davidson might. Uh, oh, might host, my God. Which okay. we hope not. So, yeah, first of all, let us know in the comments who you guys think should host the Oscars, but we're going to open it up to that discussion right now. Okay. So there are there are a few people out there that, like, you know, Pete Davidson, apparently, which. Please no. No. Why would you do that to us? No. Uh, no. Yeah, but it's like it, it's it's a very tough decision because they've gone a few years now without a host. But I really think that's what you're losing something from the show. You have someone yeah. that can carry the momentum throughout the show and round it up with like you know it can be witty, can be funny, and then usually have some kind of song and dance like capabilities. So it's it's a it's a tough decision to make, especially now in today's Hollywood, which is you know there's less of those kind of main. Uh, like those kind of actors, like big name actors who can draw a crowd and also can perform all of those things. Apparently, it might be Tom Holland. Tom Holland. That's better. And I that's, see why. I can see Tom Holland. Or I'm even hearing rumors that's all three Spider Men. <laughs> which is <laughs> that, hilarious. Okay. That, that would know, be great. But that, that can't happen because Andrew Garfield's nominated. I was going to say, oh. the only one of them that I think that should would be Andrew Garfield. I think he's no. a smart dude, he's witty. I think he can be funny. Like I've song seen him on SNL stuff. Oh, wait, no, never mind. He does song and dance. Song and dance. Wait, can he dance? Uh, I don't know Actually, if he, he can did really dance. dance. Uh, he danced pretty well in Tick, Tick, Boom. Yeah, I mean, had there, there were a couple, numbers. Numbers. He had, there were a couple some... numbers that he had. No, but uh, it's don't say that he can't do song no, 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 dance. He can't, no, he can do song, but <laughs> what's it called? But dancing? I mean, he might do dancing. Who knows? Andrew Garfield surprises hey, us. The one a, that we know can dance for sure is Tobey Maguire, of course. We've right. seen his skills mm-hmm. on full display in Spider-Man 3. So <laughs> if he long as he brings back that dance, I think we're golden. Yeah, I mean, Tom, uh, uh, Tom Holland was... Um, was uh, Billy Elliot? Yeah, he was a child prodigy, prodigy in uh, Broadway and stuff. Oh, mm. Dyche meant in real life. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no. He's, he was he's like super ballerina, athletic or whatever. Interesting. I did not know he could dance. You didn't know? Yeah, I should have a TikTok I, video of him I, like doing the ballerina shit. I don't. You haven't sent me that. Yeah, or not TikTok. I was just on my phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I, I like Tom Holland. I think he's like good actor. I, he's one of my favorite Spider Men now. But I just don't know if he has like that kind of charm and wit. And like that kind of comedic chops, really, that what it takes yeah. to like carry the all his co- uh, comedic timing is written. Yeah, and it's 
no offense, but it's not really his strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, sorry, dude, but he's definitely the least funny of the Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry. Uh, <laughs> and like, yeah. What about The Rock? Honestly, Dwayne Johnson would be a pretty solid pick. We know he can sing. We know he can be pretty funny. He's got like the charm and charisma. Yeah, I like ball it. Of charisma. Yeah, he's a muscleoid of charisma. Yeah, by far the most muscular. Just the, the he'd be like, he he he's like honestly, it's like he could have eaten like six t- uh, Billy Crystals. You know, that's yeah. uh, you know that'd be impressive. I like to see him do that. Yeah. What about you, Moss? So I'm gonna throw out a wild card here. Oh, right, okay. what's a wild card? Rita Moreno. You know what? Hey, that's actually not bad. That's yeah. a great. That's like, actually a good one. That's a great legacy pick. Everyone mm-hmm. like you know she's, she's respected. Absolutely. And, and after this last year, she's just she's kind of had a little bit of a an uptick in her career throughout uh, 2021. Yeah. First with a documentary coming out about yeah. her, and then with her being a producer on West Side Story, which is performing really well, and um. I think that she's been brought a lot more into the public eye. She's an excellent public speaker, and uh, she really does stand for something. And, and she's funny. And, and she's somebody who would be good to see up on the stage there. I um, agree. And then also, I would love to see Snoop Dogg there just after watching his Golden Gold <laughs> Globe <laughs> nominations. Yeah. You know, but I think then the Academy yeah. would be tipping their hat a little bit too much. They're going to be like, it really <laughs> is the power of the dog. Yep. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what? Fuck. <laughs> I would actually love him nominating, uh, like, announcing the winner. <laughs> yes. It, yeah. it is motherfucking power of the fucking dog. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> like, I, oh my God. Perfect. <laughs> he needs to nominate, he needs to say the winner for power. For- See, that's why uh, Denis Villeneuve didn't get nominated for best director because they're going to have him announce best director. And we all know that he can't pronounce his name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my God. Or at least have him be the presenter for best picture. Yeah. 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 It doesn't have to be the host. <laughs> but all right, how's it going? All right, any last minute comments or thoughts on the Wild Academy Awards that we got? Honestly, I know that like uh, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler could have like they've they've already hosted the Golden Globes together. I think they could do great for the Oscars as well. Just wanted to throw that. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah, that would be yeah. cool. That would be nice. Who yeah. else? What other female comedians can we think about if they're trying to go with a female host this time? Oh, I don't know. I mean, there's Kate McKinnon. She's fantastic. Mindy Kaling. She's great. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to go down. <laughs> Mm, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's, uh, oh, Kristen Wig. Kristen oh, Wig, I think, would be that'd be perfect. Awesome. Yeah. That would be great. Wow. Yeah. You just broke the code. You broke the matrix. Yeah. No, she's, everyone knows how hilarious she is. Uh, she's it's got she's the like, timing and the wit. Really she's, good she's really, film career. Yeah. She's fast on her feet. Yeah. And she's a respected actress at this point, which is great. And yeah. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Hey, Kristen Wig, get on it. Yeah. Or uh, Zendaya. Okay, okay, yeah. you no. lost. Okay, <laughs> your last time out, you're done. She, okay, yeah, <laughs> your time out, you're done. I'm not against her as firms like Just her saying. acting and capability. I just yeah. don't think we've seen her host ho- like yeah, that. Like host I, th- or I carry think that she anything. could. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure she's like she's, she could do she a very fine charming, job. But yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but you lost your time out. I don't know if out. she's I, funny. Like you know, no, she's funny. No, she is funny. You she's think just, she's funny enough? Yeah, yeah, she's funny, but she's just like uh, yeah, I love how she's just Philip too young. Just she just talking all the time. She just she's just too young, <laughs> and also like she yeah, hasn't had possibly. enough place in the film history yet. She, yeah, that's and fine. Tom Holland at least had three fucking big giant Spider-Man films and also was impossible. He was a child actor. And to be fair, they're both child actors. Yeah. Actually, I don't no. want either of them. But Yeah, I don't want either of them either. Yeah. <laughs> get them out of there. You know, they just wheel out Billy Crystal. <laughs> oh, <I know. laughs> okay. Just let them do it again. Thank you guys for another episode of Half a Clue Movie Review. This has been a very passionate episode for both of us. Um, I'm on, operating on two minutes of sleep. Three of us. And or, <laughs> oh no, the three of us. I'm so sorry. It's I'm okay. So, I'm so sorry for excluding you, Ron. No, uh, no, you were excluding yeah. me. I know you. I know, <laughs> I know you hate me deep down. No, I just kidding. This has uh, been an amazing episode for all of us. It was really fun. Hopefully, the next time we'll have everybody on. And it's been a really crazy time. Thank you, guys. Ron, close yeah. us off. Let us know what you guys think about the new Oscar uh, predictions, the nominees. Uh, let us know who you guys think will win. Who are you gunning for, honestly, on a personal level and, you know, with your realistic pick? Who do you think will actually end up taking it home? Um, yeah, like and subscribe. We appreciate every single one of you every time you do. It makes so much, uh, it, it gives us so much feel goods. I like it. It gives me warm feelings in my tummy. Thank you again. And yeah, we love you guys. Good night. Good night. Bye.